you have your AR-15 rifle, you have extra magazines, you have ammo, but how are you going to deploy this in the field if you're in a crisis situation? We're going to look at some different ways, some different load-bearing ways to carry your ammunition and to have it readily available if you ever, God forbid, need it. Now, there are a lot of different ways and methods to carry your ammunition and really carry your magazines. And the market is full of really great assault type vest, load bearing equipment, and quality is number one. In fact, I can't stress that enough. If you're going to spend the kind of money you spend on an AR-15 rifle, magazines, and ammunition, you need to have a really good, sturdy, rugged system that will carry you through tough times. Now, with that said, just because it's quality doesn't necessarily mean that the price tag is out of reach for a sensible sheepdog setup. Now, when I say sheepdog, I'm talking about those who want to protect themselves and protect those they love within the parameters of the law. This is for the good guys. If you're watching this video and you're planning something that's outside of the law, you might as well shut it off now. This is for good American people that want to stand up and protect their families and their loved ones in case of a crisis situation. Now here's a top-of-the-line Blackhawk vest, but these vests run around 130 100 to 150 and up. You know if you're on a budget that's limited, this may not necessarily be an option that you can employ right now, but to me you need to go ahead and do something it's sooner than later. So, like I say, a great Black Hawk vest with AR-15 magazine pouches and other different pouches. Quality made even with moly attachments and different things on the back. This is a great setup. But when I'm talking about quality on a budget, this is a U.S. military uh, enhanced version uh, setup with six mag pouches. It's actually four, two mags here, one thirty rounder there. has a couple of grenade pouches that you can use various things with. You'll need a pistol belt to hold it down. has clips here. These are fully adjustable, padded. One thing I've got on here, which I'm going to recommend for anybody, a nice bladder uh, that you can use. Hydration system. There are other things you're going to want to add to this, but this is going to get you started. But please, go with a military-made issue type vest because these are high quality. Now, this particular vest, you can find, I've seen them for $22.95 issued on many websites. This one wasn't issued. As you can see, it's in great condition. Some will not be in such a good condition, but they're rugged, they're sturdy, and they're great for use in the field. You can practice with these and you can become very proficient in loading your magazine when you need to. Now here are some other just some good uh, basic setups that you can use. This is a moly pouch, has all the moly attachments on the back. Uh, this is a Black Hawk mag pouch. I bought this for eight bucks. It was used at a gun show. Sometimes you can find these things very reasonable. Here's another military issue. This one actually came back from Iraq. I had to dump the sand out of this sucker. Um, has the moly attachments. Has three magazines in the back. Three in the front with the quick release. So you can grab these things when you need them. You can put these on a tactical vest that are pretty reasonable that you can find on a lot of the military surplus outlets. Or you can put this onto a belt. Very versatile. Now, one thing that's really become popular is what they call the battle belt. These are old military three mag pouches. As you can see, you can put three 30 rounders. These were used in Vietnam and on out. These are really used for the harness system, but you can put this on a pistol belt with or without the harness. You can carry six magazines, or you can even double up to carry 12 to make a nice battle belt, put your canteen on it. A very reasonable setup. Now here's my intruder defense bag, which has moly webbing attachments on it, and I've done the uh, a video on that also, the, the IDB, but you can actually attach magazine pouches right onto this so it makes it very versatile as well. There are a lot of different bags that you can buy that already have mag integral magazines in for AR-15. So this is a great setup for grab and go. 
even for the range. If you want to take something to the range, it also makes it nice and handy to keep your magazines together. And one of the most important things I can say about all of these different setups is to practice, practice, practice. Get used to taking your magazines, putting them into your rifle, releasing your magazines, and putting them back in. Practicing clearance drills, all the different things. You need to be very familiar with a rifle that could possibly save you, not only your life, but the life of your family. The AR-15 system is unlimited with the different options. So as you take your AR-15 rifle and you enjoy it, make sure you set yourself up with a nice setup where you can carry your magazines when you need them, ready to go. Now again, I can't stress how important quality is. Quality is what will protect you in the field, the stitching, how tight these things fit to your equipment. Notice there's no rattle with these. Sometimes even with the old military, you can get a little rattle if you remove some of these magazines. But surplus is the best way to go if you're on a budget. Because you can get good quality, quality stitching, heavy materials, good uh, points that you have to manipulate, catches, fasteners. It's all good quality, but you can get these at a very reasonable price. But if you want to go more toward Blackhawk and some of the better known brands, there's not a problem with that for sure because that is known quality. But sometimes these things can be very expensive. And if you have the money though, I'd say do this. If you don't, don't go buy the cheap paintball or soft air for paintball and soft air equipment. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. And if you're into that, that's great. And that stuff will do you fine. But if your life is depending on it, you really need to think about quality. I mean, the quality of these pieces. This was tested, made, and approved by the U.S. military. So they're typically great to use in the field. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival where the sheep, we're keeping the sheepdog in mind. God bless America. Long live the Republic.